Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, you are going to learn how and why the wrong types of goals and setting goals in the wrong way is actually keeping you from achieving the success that you desire. But then we're gonna transition and you'll learn the right way to set goals. The types of goals that are actually going to align you with the lifestyle you truly desire so you can really get on that path. Now, I was stuck for a very long time. I'm a recovering opportunity seeker. I bought into more get rich quick scams than I'd like to personally admit and I got really really into the law of attraction and manifestation and visualization. And both of those worlds led me down the wrong path of goal setting. And it wasn't until I made this one shift that you're going to learn in this video it comes down to three simple words. And I'll teach you that at the end. Uh, that's when everything changed for me. That's when it went from hit and miss and little wins and little victories, but having to keep that day job hustle going to going full time online, buying multiple properties, starting to look as at the world as an investor. I'm about to go to the tropics looking for for another investment property in the tropics. My life has blossomed because I embraced this one thing. And I see so many people stuck because they've got this wrong. So first, the, the wrong versus right way to do goals, okay? So event goals versus process or system driven goals. That's the first key idea for you. We've got several of them in this video, but I wanna go deep into this first. Most people set a goal that is based around an event. When this happens, I will have achieved my goal. It could be 10 grand a month. It could be paying off a specific amount of debt. It could be, it's a specific event. Now that's the incorrect way to go about it for several reasons. Number one, when you set a goal that's externally driven, that is something you don't actually have yet, that's an event, you are constantly in a state of being of lack. You technically don't have that yet. And that is what your ego mind, and that is what your body, your biometric energy being is going to re enforce over and over and over. My goal is $10,000 a month. Boy, I'm a long way off from that. My goal is $10,000 a month. The ego mind just messes with you. The opposite of this is a process driven goal. And it's to, it, it can get you to the same location you truly want to go. And we'll probably stick with this $10,000 per month goal throughout the whole thing. But when you think of it in the, in the idea of processes or systems, everything changes because then what you start to do is you unpack that entire idea around what are the processes and systems that lead someone to 10 grand per month. And that's my goal. I want to have those systems in in place that by a byproduct of those systems operating normally, I get the income that I desire. So you are fully in control of your ability to go learn about, build, implement, test, and work on the systems today. So you can instantaneously be in alignment with that which you truly desire. If you desire to have the business systems, the online business systems that are gonna generate you $10,000 per month versus the 10 grand per month at all cost goal, it's a very, very subtle and nuanced shift, but that's how the subconscious works. And it allows you to move forward daily working on those systems. Now, if you're interested in the world of digital marketing and online entrepreneurship, I have a video that goes deep into the three systems you need to grow a successful business. I'll cover them briefly here, but if you want the deep dive, be sure you check out my ATM video because the three systems that you need are an audience growth system, a trust growth system, and a monetization system. Audience growth is what I'm doing here on YouTube, right? I've put up almost 600 videos. I've got 120,000 subscribers. That's the audience growth. The Trust growth is my email list, okay? Of that, about 12,500 people have subscribed to my email list and I'm in contact with them multiple times per week, usually sending helpful content, giving more value because that builds trust. Then there's the monetization system and I monetize through affiliate marketing, recommending specific products and tools that I use that have helped me grow my business. And I have a small inner circle coaching program where I work with people who are really ready to commit to get to that next level. And all three of these systems work together. The audience growth system is over 10x larger than my trust growth system, right? I'm connected with way more than 10x the people on my blog, on YouTube here, than are on my list. And there's literally about, I don't know, 5% to 3% of people on my list are actually paying long-term members. So now I want you to think about your goal and I want you to reverse engineer what it is you actually want and think about it as a byproduct of systems. There's a Zig Ziglar quote that is so powerful and important here. And that is that you can have 
anything and everything you want in this world when you help enough people get what they want. So your shift in focus is not just in what am I going to get or what do I have, but the shift becomes what do I need to give? How many people do I need to give value to? How many people do I need to build trust with in order to generate the goal, the financial goal, the specific goal that you want. And if you're like, Miles, but I don't want a specific financial goal. Great. What's that lifestyle goal that you want? Do you want to have full control over your time? Do you want to have a house in the tropics and a house on the mountain so you can go back and forth? There's generally a way to look at every goal in this world and break it down to a financial goal. And I love using the internet and building business systems that are going to allow me to create the income that I desire to live the lifestyle that I ultimately want to live because I'll be honest, I don't love cold weather. Therefore, I'm going to get a cash flow positive property in the tropics that I get to enjoy when I want and it'll rent out for the rest of the year and earn me more income. That's the vision. That's the system that I'm working towards. Now, there's another big problem with event focused goals. They generally have kind of a, a subconscious connection to when I'm there, then I'm done. Okay, so the 10 grand a month, when I get to 10 grand a month, then I'm done. And this is kind of where my beef with the whole idea of passive income comes from. You know, I know a lot, thousands of people making six figures per year online. I know hundreds of people making seven and eight figures per year online. I've been going to conferences all around the world for a very long time. And I know these people, they're acquaintances. I've cruised across oceans with these individuals. We've rented mansions and hung out for extended periods of time together. And I can tell you one truth. No one generating 10 grand a month, a hundred grand a month or more thinks it's a passive game. No one generating those levels of income stops, period. They're actually taking on bigger challenges. They're actually working on higher level things. Now, here's the cool part. Pretty much every single one of them have let go of the shit aspects of the job they don't love. They don't do the customer support anymore. They're not necessarily grinding it out 80 hours a week anymore. They're not necessarily fighting WordPress and the code and the conflicts of plugins and the blah, blah, blah yet. They have elevated above that level of the game, but they are still extremely actively involved. And I recommend you take a look at anybody selling passive income ideas. Um, they're actively working on selling you that idea. And this idea that you'll eventually get to a point where you can be done is a false hope. And all you need to look at is someone you know who maybe has retired and they haven't really enjoyed the process of retirement. They don't have anything to do. They're bored. They're sitting around watching talking heads yell at them on TV all day, every day. And there is a stark correlation between certain demographics in our world retiring and coming to an early exit of this human experience. Why? Because they're not being of service anymore because they're not doing anything. And this is really, we're getting to the three words now. Um, there's the word have. Okay. So a goal, especially an event focused goal is about having something. Then there's the doing. Okay. And this is what I'm talking about that the successful business individuals, the successful internet entrepreneurs, I know they're actively doing things in their business. And then there's the final part, which is where people want to get to is being, okay? So there's be, do, and have, and we're gonna break these down. We're gonna organize them in different ways. And this is really where the big aha comes from. Because what a lot of people think is when I have this goal achieved, then I will do these specific things and then I will be this way. When I have the 10 grand a month, then I will reinvest or I'll invest in a team to run my business and then I will be free. Okay, that's the way they think is that have comes first. That's the wrong way to think about this. We need to reorganize it. We need to make sure we understand that the first step, and this was the big shift for me, is you have to be that kind of a person today instantaneously. So if your goal is that 10 grand a month, you need to have, you need to instantaneously align with being the kind of person who does the kinds of things to have that specific result. Do you see how those were nested together? Be, do, have. Everyone in our world, in Western society, has this backwards, except for the ultra successful individuals. So how do you know what to be, okay? The goal is 10 grand a month or whatever it is for you. Um, how do you know what you need to be like? Well, 
you can look at what I've done here on this channel. This specific channel is generating well over $1,000 per day. It's doing well over $30,000 per month from all of the kind of activity that I've got going for this business. And my greater business that encompasses four separate profitable brands is significantly greater than that. So what am I doing? Okay, well, I'm putting out great valuable content as often as I can. It's coming out multiple times a week to my blog. It's coming out on my YouTube channel. Over the last three years, I've averaged two, I've averaged one video every two days for over three years straight. So what does someone who generates this level of abundance through digital marketing do? They publish a lot of content, okay? About 600 videos and about 400 blog posts in about three and a half years is the actual numbers that I've done. You can look at my podcast feed, there's probably 200 or so podcast episodes on my podcast feed. So that's the first level of what I'm doing. What's the next level of what I'm doing? Well, I'm constantly creating new and testing new opt-in offers, lead magnets to get people to move from that audience level that I just covered down to that next level of the trust factor onto my email list. So I'm testing new opt-in pages. I'm testing new headlines. I'm testing new lead magnets in order to help people raise their hand from my audience that I'm reaching with my videos, my podcasts, and my blog posts to see who is actually interested in taking steps in my direction, who is interested in really putting in the work to create a successful business online. And for that, I've got several different opt-ins. My main one is the seven-step process, how I went from side hustle to million dollar business online. You can get it at milesbeckler.com forward slash free dash course. And it's a simple call to action like that. There's no fancy stuff going on. I'm not paying for advertising. I'm just making sure that you, if you're interested right now in getting more from me, that's where you go to get more. And then you take that step forward. And what am I doing? I'm emailing my list multiple times every week. If you subscribe, you should expect between three and five emails every single week. And most of these emails are going to help you understand the tactics, the tools, the trainings, and what you need to do to truly create the business of your dreams. Okay. So this is more of the this is more of the actual what you need to do in order to be that kind of a person. So at the being phase, I go out of my way every day, multiple times a day. How am I giving value to my audience? How am I giving value to my email list? How am I giving value to my members each and every day? I'm also spending time looking at what are some of these new um, affiliate relationships I can forge? Who are some of these joint venture partners that I can partner with who have great tools and trainings that I love and use? How can I promote their stuff to my audience who a segment of my audience would love to know the exact Facebook ads course that I'm studying and implementing with my team right now, okay? So I'm building those relationships as well. That's what I'm doing each and every day. And the byproduct of all of this activity, of being the kind of person who focuses on audience first, who focuses on free level content in mass, who focuses on giving even more value through email, and who focuses on aligning the right people on my list and in my audience with the right tools that are going to help them achieve their goal and or creating the right systems or tools to help you achieve that which you want, right? That's who I am from a state of being. And that dictates the actions that I'm doing. And the byproduct of this being and doing is abundance beyond what I ever thought was possible for myself. Truly, it's magical at this point in time. And you notice, I'm still showing up for you each and every day. And the day that I decide I can go piss off and hang in a hammock and ignore you is the day that my business starts to decline. Every successful person you will ever meet is driven by something. And you might use Steve Jobs as an, or excuse me, um, let's use uh, the Microsoft guy, my goodness, Bill Gates, for an example, okay? Uh, he's not really in the operations of his business. He has created software that has gone in mass, that's changed the world in ways, but he's kind of fixing the continent of Africa more so than just about any government out there is. He might actually single-handedly wipe out malaria. He's, he's taking his abundance and his role in this world to be a philanthropist, and that's now his job through his foundation. But you look at someone like Bezos, who I believe might actually be the wealthiest person in the world right now, He's pretty much active in his business, grinding it, still trying to take over more competitors. Zuckerberg, 
Elon Musk, they are all active. Those are some of the most successful people in this world. They're extremely active in what they do. So when you relinquish the idea that there's some event that will happen in your life and then you'll be there and then you'll have the happiness that you desire, then you'll have the abundance that you desire when that event happens, when you banish that idea and you replace it with, I'm going to build systems in my life. And these systems are going to spin off audience members, email list members, and customers. Then you'll be in a position to have what you need to generate 10x, 20x that number that you're looking at, right? My current goal that I'm focusing on is $3 million a year from my internet-based business. That is something like $250,000 per month, roughly, is where my goal is because I know that these three systems can reach millions of people every month and I can bring in tens of thousands of subscribers every month and I can help thousands of people every month move their businesses forward and or start their businesses online. So I can build systems that have a byproduct of that level of abundance. And that's what I do each and every day. Some days I'm looking at the systems as they're running and I'm optimizing them. And I'm thinking, is this the most effective way for this system to run? Other days I'm showing up, I'm actually doing the work. I'm pressing record and I'm creating a new piece of content for you because that's the only thing I do. And other days yet, I'm working with my teammates and I've got a team of about 25 people and my payroll today is quite crazy. My payroll is greater than what I hoped that I would personally be able to earn back in the day, right? And and so I'm constantly working with my teammates. How can I get leverage from them? I'm looking at my portfolio. How can I get more real estate investments that can allow me to take this income that I'm earning, put it into real assets that generate even more cash flow? That's why you don't see a fancy Italian supercar behind me in my videos because I don't really collect liabilities. Those are things that cost me money. I like to collect assets and you can't really see them and they're intangible or they're, they're physical buildings in other countries renting out and ready for me when I show up in the tropics for some stand-up paddle surfing uh, because I want to and they'll cash flow positive for the rest of the year. But that's my dream and that's my goal and this is how it's working. That's what I've always wanted is the ability to fly down to the tropics in business class when the timing's right for me and the ability to go up to my lake house on 20 acres and paddleboard on the lake when the weather is perfect up there. I wanna be able to take the most comfortable, luxurious way between those places whenever I feel like it. So in order to live that lifestyle, which is truly my goal, I need systems. I need systems that allow me to connect with more people, that help the right people take steps in my direction, that help the right people connect with the tools and trainings and things I use and the help I offer so they can move their business forward. The byproduct of all of that energy is income, social credits for the value I've delivered to the millions of people I've connected to here. And then how do I spend that money? That's my kind of goal realized. So again, be, do, have. If you don't have the level of income you desire yet, and that's your big goal, you really need to focus this next year of your life on being the type of person who does the things, be, do, right? We're at the do level now, who does the things that those who have that level of abundance do. And if you need to study some individuals, feel free to look at what they're doing. Don't opt into their webinars, don't buy their courses, because that just means you are a cog in their wheel. You might be paying for the $4,000 oil change on their Lamborghini because they don't really have a business beyond selling you a scam. Remember in the beginning when I said that I'm a recovering opportunity seeker, I've bought into enough of those to know. My wife and I sustain ourselves on four separate brands in a, vari a wide variety of niches. We have sites in four different niches that we're constantly working on and optimizing. This is over the course of 13 years of operating those businesses where I've learned everything I've taught here freely on YouTube. You noticed you didn't have to watch an ad on this video. That's because I don't need your money because I have systems that generate the income I desire. But I realize that giving lots of value to you, getting known as the most helpful marketer in the world can open me up to levels of this lifestyle that are potentially mind boggling. I know a few people in our world who own islands and they run retreats on their own islands. Hmm, that could be kind of cool. Could I get there? Maybe. But what do those individuals, right, 
the state of being that they're in, right? That's their state of being is they're so well known. People pay tens upon tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to go spend time on their islands with them. And I can look at what they're doing in this world and I can understand the type of person they're being, what they're doing to have that level. And that's the path that I'm on here. And I'm glad we've connected on this path. If you made it to the end, hashtag badass to you, uh, you're a one percenter, right? You made it to the end. Most people don't make it to the end. Uh, put one percent in the comments if you did so I know. Leave me a comment, give me a question. If this makes sense, let me know this made sense. If you're confused, use the comments to ask a clarifying question. I'll pop in there when I do have time. I appreciate you and I really want you to get this. That there is no point in your future where you're done with your business. All digital businesses are pretty much forever businesses. And even those individuals I know who have sold their businesses, a guy I went to high school with sold his web business for about a hundred and something million dollars to Twitter. Okay. He now runs a VC fund. He's now actively working with dozens, if not hundreds of founders because swinging in a hammock, doing nothing gets extremely boring after about three days. Ask anyone who's retired, wandering around bored, they wish they had something to do. So figure that out now and build your life around it. I love sharing messages of marketing. My wife loves sharing messages of spirituality. What would you be excited to obsess over and geek out over and, and be a part of for the next five years, 10 years? That's your true calling and you can build your lifestyle around doing something that you love. If you love quilting, knitting, cooking, hot air ballooning, I don't care what it is. You could build an amazing life around it today. That's the day we live in. There's a billion and one unique niches where there's dozens of people making 10 grand a month or more in all of them. And you could be one of those people. But again, you have to do the things that those, right? That's a state of being is the individuals who are earning that level of income. You have to do the things those people are doing now to eventually have the result that those people have. All they have is a head start on you. You can do this. I know you can. All of my videos here on this channel are designed to help you with this. And on that note, I'm going to call it. Thank you again very much for your time. I do appreciate you and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until we meet again, be well. Be sure to subscribe, like, do all those things. I appreciate you and I'll catch you on the next one. Till then, be well. Cheers.